There's a new feature in Logos Pro, which is a subscription-based product. Um, it's only available to certain people at the moment, but it's going to be rolled out later on. And you can purchase it for $9.99. At least that's how much it is at the moment. And it gives you access to a few features right now. It's supposed to expand and do more. But one of the features I wanted to talk about today is the side panel summarize feature. One of the features is AI smart summarizing in your searches. In this video, I want to show the AI smart summarize in the side panel. So if you go up here to a book, now this, this is available in most of the Logos books, but not all. So if we come up here to the right side of this book, there's this little panel. Open or close the sidebar. So we're going to open it. This is also where you can find the um, AI translation feature. But here is what we're looking for. This is a summarization tool. So this is going to use AI to give a summary of a chapter or a subsection in a book. Mm -hmm. Probably the best way to use this is to open up the table of contents and select what you want. So we could select the introduction. and You'll notice here it says it's going to summarize the introduction. So we could click that. Now, this is something you have to be aware of. Sometimes it will not work. There, it'll give you an error. Sometimes it will not give you a summary because it's too long. So let's try the entirety of Inferno. Let's see what this does. Now notice this. This article is longer than our AI tool can effectively summarize. So you got to be careful. You can't summarize huge sections. Let's try Kento 1. And so here is the summary. Now you can copy this copy the entire uh, the entry right we can copy that of course you could highlight right click and copy that as well so we can copy this and save it here's what i would suggest go into your notes create a new notebook called something like ai summaries something like that and then when you summarize a section Highlight, right click, and go to your AI summaries and add the summary there. That way you don't have to keep summarizing this and using up your Logos credits, your AI credits for this. And you can just do that with all of your, your books. You could even add a tag down here, AI um, summaries, something like that. And so you could search for these and you'd always have these. And so if you did Canto 2, you wanted to summarize Canto 2, what you have to do is, you, you can't clear this, you have to go down here and look for this. So Canto 2, it's going to summarize. Notice that it's trying to summarize whatever section or subsection I've clicked in. So that's why I would say use the table of contents. Summarize that, and then copy that text, and I would just add a note right at the top. And so I've always got my summaries there. So there's a way that you could use this. Now remember, what we saw over here, not all the books are going to work. So I think this is one of the books that doesn't work. But the Harvard Classics here, as you saw, clearly works. Now you could change the, um, the icon here for what, whatever you want it to be. You change the color so that it's easier to, to view. All right. Well, hopefully that's helpful.